on YouTube. Out here in the garage today, as you can see, we got the RC four wheel drive TF2 up on the lift. Absolutely love this truck, but it's time for some changes. Uh, I'm not overly excited with the stiffness of the suspension, which anybody that drives an RC four wheel drive leaf spring knows exactly what I'm talking about. So after watching a lot of videos, I've decided to do some suspension mods and RC Dungeon, awesome dude. If you haven't checked out his channel, check him out, RC Dungeon. He is all about the scale rigs and RC four wheel drives. And after his advice, I'm going to remove the springs out of my shocks. And then I'm gonna take the small leaf spring off, which will leave two springs. And uh, we'll see how that does. I'll give you a little comparison now before and after the mods to see if we do any good. So right here is completely stock form. And you can see just with the front end up on one tire here in the front, you can see there is no flex, no give in that suspension at all. So now that has all the weight on it. That's just like I run it. That includes the battery, the body, the whole nine yards. So obviously we got a lot of work to do. That's just, like I said, one tire under the front tire and you see how far the back ends off the ground already i'm going to say probably close to three quarters of an inch so let's put it in the back and see what it does to the front so the front tires didn't lift off the ground at all however the back tire on the driver's side raised up about three quarters of an inch so obviously there's no travel on the suspension, entirely too tight. So like I said, I'm gonna remove the springs out of the shocks themselves, and then I'm gonna remove the bottom, the smallest leaf spring, and we'll see what that does. So we got her on the bench. I wanna start out, take this front shock here loose. Take the top cap off. Now, I don't know if there's any oil on these shocks or not. So there's the spring. That is a really stiff spring. I mean really stiff. Can you see? As it goes flying across the yard. Or should I say room? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that spring was super tight. And there is no oil. Eh, there might be. Yeah, there's a little bit down on the bottom. Probably just keep it lubricated a little bit. I'm not initially going to add anything to it. I'm just going to see what this does. Have my head out here. Anytime you try to do work like this on camera, of course it always happens.
right. Now I can't tell really any difference in that. But I would imagine that, you know, obviously the leaf spring is still taking a lot of that load and still making it really stiff. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the bottom spring off the passenger side front. Try to do this without taking the tire and everything off. I think I can do it. rough angle to get into but not too bad this one here is a little rough So there's the spring I took off. That's pretty stiff. I really think that just doing these couple things is really gonna help out. But, I guess time will tell. I gotta get these other two lined up. And of course, like all RC four wheel drive products, Loctite is your best friend. started here. cross thread because my driver's on an angle. These MIP drivers are just the bomb. They hold the, group, the screws so tight. And I've done a lot of work with this driver here. And it hasn't round out yet. I've been through two other sets of drivers already, so I broke down and bought the MIPs and couldn't be happier. Good investment. 
I've spent more money in the two sets that I bought than I would have spent if I would have just bought MIPs the first time. Lesson learned. All right, let's see what it did. Now that made a huge difference. Just taking out that one spring. It's quite a bit softer. So I'll go ahead and do the other three and uh, we'll go back down to the garage and see if we made any headway. All right, so we got one leaf spring done with the Chino mod. And as you can see here, this is the spring that's done. The extra, basically the extra slack that you have inside the shackle just re removes a lot of resistance to where this one is stock and there is no room. The spring don't move in the shackle at all. So if you picture like a, a real vehicle, you have a bushing in there which allows this movement and flex to where this is basically steel on steel. Just a lot of drag. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other three done. All right, so we're back down here. Just got done with our free suspension mods as far as removing the spring out of the shock, removing the lower leaf spring, and then doing the Chino mod. Let's see if we wasted an hour or so of our time or if we actually done some good. Put the tire back underneath the passenger front here. Nice, did you see how that truck settled? Watch that suspension. When I let go with my hand, watch this suspension. Just settles. That is definitely gonna improve our handling. I'm really happy with that. Let's put it under the back tire and see what it does. Now, if you remember when we put it under the back, the front stayed firmly planted, but the driver's side rear was up about three quarters of an inch. There we go. She settled. All four tires firmly planted on the ground. I think we will call that a success. Oh, let's go hit the trail and See what kind of handling improvements we have now. Stay tuned for the run footage. 